Hi guys, today I'm gonna do a video talking about the G15 DK I pre built. I bought, so I'm doing like a, a follow up basically. Um, for those, I, I got a lot of questions about the temperature and uh, people being concerned about it, and uh, I just wanted to like show you guys a couple of things that you can do to make it cooler. Uh, that that can apply uh, to be honest to any uh, Ryzen 7 or Ryzen uh, 5 or uh, 9 I would guess pretty much all the Ryzen CPUs are, have this feature I think the PBO uh, uh, boosting feature which boosts the core clock and uh, also the frequency of the CPU at different times and if it needs on a single core application it will just boost on a single core sometimes it does that it depends on it's boosting according to uh, what you're doing basically and that feature can really uh, be a problem for uh, like the pre-built I bought uh, at a decent cooler CPU cooler for the CPU, but uh, it was getting really hot uh, to the point where it, it was it could arm the CPU. Uh, so it will, I would recommend doing this uh, change that I'm just doing right now. If you have um, a Ryzen CPU without like a an, a, a crazy uh, cooler, uh, first you want to go to Advanced. Uh, it's going to be pretty pretty similar to any uh, of the. Uh, any of the um, uh, motherboards you get, uh, the feature you want you want to remove. I'm gonna start with AI tweaker. Uh, it's precision boost overdrive. You want pretty much all of this disabled. Those two, and uh, the rest automatic. Those will disable the boosting feature. So it will stay at the same megahertz that you put it in. It won't go over. And normally what it does is that it, it goes over the stock uh, frequency and it just, to accommodate the frequency, it just uh, overvolts the CPU. And uh, that's what it, that's what make, it makes the CPU uh, a lot warmer. Uh, uh, you can just go back, all the settings, would leave I would leave in auto to be honest uh, uh, besides if you have like a specific RAM with uh, a profile like mine uh, 3200 megahertz so I just set it at that uh, it worked like it works like this some uh, might have some problems with this uh, but it's that uh, that's a different uh, conversation for a different problem now uh, we're gonna go to AMD overclocking overclocking I think pretty much all the motherboards have this uh, unless you have really something I pre-built with a really basic motherboard just gonna click uh, accept never mind accept uh, there's gonna be another precision boost for drive uh, menu just click on it disable this one so basically you have three things to disable and uh, that's pretty much it uh, I was talking to someone who was uh, in need of help concerning that issue and uh, for those reasons, uh, for some reason, those changes didn't make the CPU uh, stop boosting and uh, overvolting. So you can basically, when that happens, you can um, update the BIOS. And uh, by doing that, it's at the Easy Flash utility. Uh, for this motherboard, it was working for me. Uh, um, it just goes online and search for a better version. It's not really complicated compared to what it was back in the days, a long time ago. You actually had to like format a USB key and just put it in and uh, sometimes it wouldn't work and it would like crash by us. But for this motherboard it worked well. Uh, I did the update and that's why 
my settings on the BIOS worked. If you feel uncomfortable doing the update, you can just go uh, like I'm gonna do right now. I won't save anything because everything is alright with the CPU, uh, the CPU as it as it is right now. I'm just gonna go on my desktop. Uh, wait a second, guys. I'm gonna start the video back in a second. Okay, so now we're back. Uh, if you want to uh, take less chances in updating the the BIOS, I would suggest using this AMD Ryzen Master. As the title says, it's made for Ryzen CPUs. You just go down below. That's what it looks like. Just go down below. You download it. Once it, down it downloads and it's completed, you, you could just click on it. You press OK. And then here, here are your like settings. Uh, you can use control modes. And you can manually set the voltage and it's gonna set it up to uh, what you put and uh, just limit it to uh, what you put basically. So mine is at 1.1. It's gonna stay like that. I won't go over. It might go lower if needed, if uh, it's not under load, but it won't go over. So that's two ways to make it happen. If you're unsure about the, the BIOS, uh, that's a way to do it also. And I hope you get, you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped maybe some people because I had a lot of questions about the. Uh, if it's gonna run hot or not, if uh, if they can, because uh, I was always recommending people to disable PBO, the Precision Boost Overdrive. I don't think that feature is really uh, necessary, maybe for a crazy uh, water cold setup. But personally, I just put it at 4.2 mega mega 4.2 gigahertz. I mean, and. Uh, it's still an overclock though, but at 1.1 volt it just runs perfectly and uh, there's no crashes at any time. So it's really stable, it doesn't need to go over that voltage to be honest. It just puts more strain on the, the component over time. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, found it helpful and thank you for watching. See you next time guys, peace.